This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Hey, let me ask you, um, when we look back at this show, this is a show where Joey styles is no longer calling the show. Yeah. Uh, he's going to start working on the relaunch of ECW and now you're back in the chair. Yep. What do you remember about how that came to be? Well, he was, uh, so here's how I looked at that deal. This is going to sound very egocentric and maybe I should have always been a heel, but I thought that was my chair. Yeah. And I really appreciate him keeping it warm for me. Uh, and that sounds really like a dick, but I was sick. Uh, career was in jeopardy. I wasn't handling it. Well, thank God for Jan. Keep me propped up and positive as she could, because I could be a miserable bastard. You No, yeah. mm, I could, I am today. Sometimes I can't help it. <laughs> I'm a red ass sometimes, Conrad. It's good for business. I, I saw. Uh, that. I know it is. I know it's, it's very good for business. Yes, it is. Uh, so, uh, but Joy did a great job, but he came in with that ECW feel, and I, I, to me, that's not wrong. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, I think over the years, the legend of ECW continues to grow, and and many of their former athletes' imagination. You know, they went broke. If you're a great star and you draw a lot of money, then you wouldn't go broke. And Joey just was not Vince's cup of tea. And I don't know why I thought Joey styles did a hell of a job sitting in, taking my spot while I was sick and on the IR as it were, uh, he was just, he did an excellent, excellent work. And I consider him a good friend which may taint my evaluation of him. I thought Joy Styles is one of the better announcers that uh, I've uh, encountered in my career, but he didn't have that same feel, uh, in the front office. And that's, that's unfortunate, but I was excited to get back to work, man. You kidding me? My wife was excited for me to get back to work and get the hell out of the house. You know, I was still doing the payroll, still doing the payoffs. I was still booking house shows. I was still busy by the way. But my passion and my love, uh, other than fried food was me and, uh, <laughs> calling matches at ringside. So I was happy to go back to work. I really was, I was felt very blessed and refreshed and I was ready to roll. Let my family save your family some cash. You don't need perfect credit. You don't need money out of your pocket, but we will save you money. It's not a matter if it's a matter of how much save with Conrad.com. WWE versus ECW was live on the USA network. We had you and King doing commentary for the WWE styles and Taz for ECW. What do you remember about working a four man booth? That's gotta be stressful. No matter who your other partners are, right? Yeah. It's uh, crowded, you know, it's very crowded and, uh, it's, you know, everybody's gotta, uh, be very, as much as you can, uh, be very unselfish. Everybody's worried about who's getting the most mic time. And, you know, the ECW thing was kind of perceived even then as a, you know, here's what we want to do, but until we do it, it's not a done deal. So uh, there was a lot of, uh, I was, I, I'm thinking a lot of uncomfortableness with some of the ECW alums. Uh, but you know, I'm not a, you know, the, the, the three man booth is challenging enough. You had a fourth person there. And it gets really, uh, uh, dicey cause it's hard to maintain your continuity, your storytelling. If you and I, and, uh, a bull Ramos are doing a show, we have to listen to each other and keep our stories connecting the dots. If you have an agenda, Conrad, where you think you got to get something in really, uh, important, then, uh, it's got to fit within the context of what we're presenting, what we're seeing on the screen, not to get your line in. Or I haven't said anything in a few seconds, so I need to get something in here. Uh, but there was a, it was crowded. It was crowded, but I don't remember it being a bad experience. You know, uh, Taz and Joey Styles had worked together. You know, they've been together a lot at ECW, not as broadcasters, I don't think, but certainly knowing each other uh, very well. And they're both very strong ECW loyalists, and that was good. 
quite frankly. Uh, so uh, I, I don't remember me having too many arguments with uh, Joy or uh, Taz whatsoever. Now, Lawler being the somewhat antagonist of our team, right? he had some fun with it. But that's how it should have been. And Taz, should, Taz in, conversely, has some fun with Lawler. But this four man booth is challenging. You got to really listen to each other and can keep the dots connected. It's still going to be about storytelling and ultimately and foremost about getting talent over or a match over or the event over. So it was, uh, it was, it was interesting, uh, but it was, it was, it was much like Cena's, uh, experience. Let's try it. It's different. So we did that. We tried it. It was different and, and certainly was worth the try to, to make it, make it happen. It was a nice little tension thing. And I thought that was good. And, and ECW needed to be attitudinal. Uh, they right. needed to be a little abrasive because that was their image in their entire brand for their entire run. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.